Hey guys, uh, we are here doing some fabrication work today. This is for a pontoon boat. This is one of the sides. The customer wants it to be 36 inches tall, border this way and come around and then come down. That way it's just a little bit taller. He's not gonna fall over the edges easy. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna make this here at our shop, turn five fabrication. Let's get started. So we know the first leg is gonna be 36 inches tall and uh, we've got Bentec software that we're going to be using for this to help us. The easiest way on something like this is to roll it over. We need to measure out the our overall distance there to the floor and that is going to be 46 and a quarter. We also need the measurement from this edge to right here where he wants it to drop down at. So that one is going to be uh, right about 21. We'll call it 21. It doesn't really have a set center, uh, but we'll call it 21. So let's go to Bentec and we're going to enter in our dimensions and get this going. This is what you're going to see when you open up Bentec. If you don't have this screen, just go to View, Task Menu. So we're going to go to Custom Part. We're going to select our material. It's one inch square tubing. We're going to select our radius and our, our die that we want to use. So we've got three bends on this. The first length is going to be 36. No rotation. I'm just pressing the tab, the tab button here. Uh, 90 degree angle. Bend two is going to be 46 and a quarter. A rotation of 90 and a bend of 90. Our bend three is going to be at 21. No rotation and then a bend of 90 and then our end is going to be 36 oh you know what we need a rotation of negative 90 there there we go so here is our part let's see if i can get it zoomed in here that's basically what our part's going to look like So now we want to go, before we start bending this, it gives you everything up here. You've got your cut length of your material. Uh, the weight, ignore that, that's for steel tubing. We're doing this out of aluminum. And then you've got all your bend locations. So we're going to go over here to tasks. We're going to go to verify. We want to make sure that this is going to fit into uh, the area that we want it to. So we know that it's 46 and a quarter, but what we need to account for is the outside of another one inch tubing that's going to be there. So we'll go from outside apex to outside apex. Our measurement there is 47 and a quarter. So we are right on the money for that because it's 46 and a quarter, and then you got to account for the one inch tube. Sometimes this stuff here is tricky to get a hold of if you're uh, not doing this every day. Then we're going to go from outside apex to outside apex here and our distance is going to be 22 and if you don't if you want to go back and check on something uh, sometimes it's hard to see the tubes in the way just select the box here and there you go you can see the the measurement there I'm not sure what free selected oh yep okay that's the, that we don't want that okay so anyway so we've got all those verified so now we're gonna go ahead and cut a piece of tubing to 134 inches and we'll go set the bender up for bending. We've got our tube all marked out according to what the software was telling us. 29, 13, 16 is the first bend that we're gonna make. So now we have to set up the machine so we can start bending the square tubing. We'll start by removing our centerpiece here and our die. This is our die for one inch square tubing. Change out the guide.
And we load our piece of material in here. Put our mark at our designated point. Okay, now let me show you this. We've got to change our settings here. So we're going to be, that's for inch and a half round tubing. We're going to change our machine here to one inch square. We're on a four inch die. Change the wall thickness. Uh, I want to say it's about 83 wall. Turn our speed up. Set our angle and then our spring back. We're going to go double check what we have on Ventec for the spring back. Uh, yep. Bentec is showing a six degree spring back. We're going to leave this at four degrees just because it's aluminum. It's a lot easier to work with. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit start and we'll do our first bend. Put some lubricant on here. This way our tube doesn't get gummed up. I've noticed a lot of times with this machine you have to back it off a little bit on aluminum. And I'm just pulsing the pedal here just to go slower so that it doesn't get in a bind or, or break the material or anything like that. There's our first bend on the square tubing. Now we're gonna check which way we need to rotate this. So this is for our first bend here. So this side here needs to be the inside of our next bend. So we will stick this like here, rotate it down. And the software shows you which way to rotate it. It's just easier to, to go by vision here instead of walking back over to the computer. Lock it down. Lubricant. And our third and final bend. It's going to be to bend this leg back down towards the ground. And now we have a finished part. We're gonna go test it, make sure it fits. You can see there, and then this side here, what I think happened, I think this is a little bit less than 90, so we need to adjust the spring back on here and bring this side in and let it, let it rotate in some. And uh, which we can, this stuff's so easy to bend that we can uh, we can adjust for that by hand whenever we go to mount it to the uh, to the boat or the customer mounts it to the boat. Uh, then go ahead and push that side. Just push it in with your foot there at the bottom. We'll just make sure. You just hold it, hold it there with your foot. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect.
Now we'll do the other one for this side. On one side, we've got to bend the other side and mirror it because they're mirrored pieces. So we've got our piece cut, our measurements made. We're going to go ahead and lubricate it up a little bit. We've adjusted our back spring uh, just to give us a hair uh, more degree. That way we're closer to 90 and we don't have to fight with it. And since this is opposites, we rotate them up as opposed to the last one that we rotated down. We used to do this for years and years without the Bentec software, and it has really come in handy for a lot of jobs that uh, we just don't have the time to sit here and the, the material waste available to us. Sometimes our die here just gets a little gummed up, especially on this aluminum. The steel, it doesn't so much but it's just something to watch for. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. final bend which the machine is just tall enough to make had we uh, had the machine any lower to the ground uh, we would have had to go back and change a couple measurements flip them around and, uh, and bend our piece in opposite opposite way and this tubing bender is from Nargesa it's a CC90 nice movable control pedal here in case your big feet are in the way And here is our second piece. This one with the adjusted uh, spring back fits much better. As you can see, fits uh, nicely to our points there. Comes around the outside edge of our existing piece and flush to the end there. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to make this, you know, more videos like this. We're just very busy, don't have the time to do it. Um, but if you're watching, thank you.